TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 8th of December. And as a Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update, some kind of a report just came out. Uh, someone said it is the, let me just check, it is the preliminary UOM consumer sentiment report in two minutes. Yep, it came out. And the market's responding quite well. Dow's up 90 <clears throat> at 36,205. It's this little pattern right here. Going to be watching it very closely for the next few days. It's had about five sessions all week has actually just been consolidating sideways as a breakout today uh, does it turn down later this is the news that would have really been the negative to start a move for the rest of the day so we'll see how we respond by 10 20 this morning for another 20 minutes looking at the s p let's go there quickly s p is up uh, eight at 45.93 45.99.39 was the high uh one two three four four that was, I think, last Friday. So now we're looking at the QQQ at NDX 100. was a little bit weak. Now it's up five cents at 390.49. The IWM, which was holding gains earlier, is making a little bit more of a gain. It's up 167 to 187.06. Is there some kind of rotation going on into the small caps? We'll look at that when I get back from my Tiger Technicians Hour. Gold is down um, 21 at 2025. I didn't act well after that Chapman Wave Roman candle a few days ago. Uh, we're going to see what happens because 1989 is the 200-period exponential moving average. Looking at the dollar, did that rally? Um, a little bit. It's up 41 ticks at 104.08. I'm a little behind, so maybe that's uh, on that contract. Maybe we'll see where it goes. But the 200-period moving average is just right here. That's resistance. Bonds. Let's see what bonds are doing. <clears throat> Bonds are down over a point, one point, uh, one uh, and five thirty seconds, hundred nineteen and two. I think this peak D in the uh, the peak D in the daily chart. I go through this in my show coming up. You'll see how many Ds, Es, and Fs in the Chamber Wave methodology we've got in all the different indices right at this moment. And that just says uh, you got to be a little careful here because. Uh, we're starting to kind of lose upside momentum. I'll be back. Crude oil is up one and three quarters. Basil Chapman, check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a month.